sponsored by Quip. Quip is an affordable electric toothbrush designed with every mouth in mind. Get your first $10 refill free by going to getquip.com slash cow. Jordan's messages. Well, guys, it's the dream that you've always thought was just a dream. It wasn't actually going to come true. Messages has been making a comeback. Who knows how long this is going to last? We don't even know. All right, but let's enjoy it while it lasts. Let's get to the messages. <laughs> Hello, J and J. Two girls have confessed their love for me. The first girl I've known for five years. I knew she liked me. All throughout middle school, I would ask her if she liked me or found me attractive. She never gave me a straight answer saying, I can't tell you that. No matter how much I told her, I'd be okay if she said no. <laughs> Through the years, noticing how much I caught her staring at me, laughing at all of my jokes, and being physical with me, I finally figured it out. <laughs> the second is my girlfriend, who I've known for about a year now. This is where it gets confusing. We started dating eight months ago, and I've gotten to know her extremely well. I'm a one girl kind of guy, <laughs> the kind of guy that if he falls in love, it's not just because of puberty's raging hormones, no. <laughs> Whichever girl I choose to be with a lot more than likely, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with them. With them. He just said See, he's- them singular. That, alright. I love them both, but I feel like no matter what, I'll regret my decision, what do I do? P.S. The, the first girl has a boyfriend. <laughs> All right. All right. Get, 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 uh, put it on the, we got a little gotta thing put, on the, th on the marker, board. Uh, marker board again. Josh has got to help me out. All right. So girl one. Girl one. Known so long. They are physical and has a boyfriend. Girl two. Currently dating but not physical. Not physical. The hand strikes and gives the flower. Hand strikes gives the flower. Girl two. Wait. Girl one. Sorry. <laughs> Got it confused. Girl one. Let me tell you why. You guys seem like you have the most <laughs> real connection I've ever seen in my life. It can't be duplicated. It cannot be duplicated. Don't even try. You guys have truly fallen in love. And look, there's no way for this to end well with girl two. You've got to dump her. Maybe not, dump her nicely, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is not a, this isn't anything rude. But you can be honest and say, look, me and girl one, I didn't ever tell you about her, so I've kind of been dishonest, you know, that happened. Um, you're gonna look like a bad person, I'm sorry. But if you want to be with girl one, you're gonna have to kind of look like a bad guy. He's gotta get this right the first time because that's the kind of guy he is. That's right, you have to get this right the first time because that's the kind of man that you are. Look, he says he's gonna, the girl he dates says he's gonna be with the rest of his life. If that's true, he's dating girl too. So why didn't he marry her? Like, the whole thing is one big contradiction. That's what I'm saying. Because he's contradicting himself, I think he should just, what the heck, and go with girl one. <laughs> Just because he's a big contradiction. So, anyways, Aiden, girl one. Dear Jordan. Josh, you just picked this just to spite me. <laughs> I swear. My best friend has started using bad words frequently, and I'm worried we have been friends since. And I'm. This is gonna be one long run on, I guarantee it. And I'm worried we. And I'm worried. We have been friends since second grade and now that I am homeschooled we haven't been hanging out as much I started homeschool in sixth grade and now I'm going into a high school so I feel like it's my fault is it my fault and should I continue being friends with her okay let me clarify what is going on here guys okay it's very confusing this person has a friend who is saying bad words what does she do okay let's just simplify it and make it a simple sentence look okay there's one of two options you can do you can go along with the with the crowd and start cussing yourself okay you might be cool in the short term long term though it might have damaging effects on your emotional state we've seen it happen before with a few <laughs> friends of ours number two <laughs> 
Number two, you could. I was gonna say go tell your par her parents, but you guys are probably a little too old for this. Now, Josh, people are gonna be like, wow, Jordan, you're saying hide from your parents. No, I'm not. Look, listen up. If this person was younger, like I'm saying nine years old and this is happening, yeah, okay, go. To, but you know, you're going into high school, okay? What you need to do, you need to sit down and logically, re in simple sentences, now we're not talking these run ons, right? Simple sentences, you're going to just have a conversation with your friend, okay? You guys are friends, you guys, right? You guys are buddy buddies. You wanna continue being friends, that's why you wrote this message, okay? So you're not gonna dump somebody just because they say bad words. Now, you're going to be the bigger person, not let it affect you, and you're going to have a conversation in simple, concise sentences, all right? That's what you gotta do with this person. Was that a pretty good answer, Josh? Pretty good, pretty good. all right. Do yeah. you know what the bad mouth girl needs? She needs to clean out her mouth. And you know, so does anybody who puts sugar, high fructose corn syrup in their mouth every day. You need to figure out a way to apologize to your mouth for what you've done. I suggest Quip. Quip is care for your mouth. It was created by dentists and designers to guide habits that matter when it comes to your mouth and taking care of it. See, most people don't take care of their teeth properly. They brush too hard like myself, unevenly or just not long enough. My toothbrushes, have, they, they just, they're destroyed. Disintegrate. They're just literally, the, the bristles fall out. That's how hard I brush my teeth. Quip fixes all of that. Sensitive vibrations use a built-in timer to pulse every 30 seconds, letting you know to move to a different part of your mouth, and then shuts off in two minutes, helping guide a full and even clean. It's the niftiest little electric toothbrush. If you've never used an electric toothbrush, you have never lived, okay? Your mouth will literally feel like it's thanking you. It accepts your apology for all the sugar you've put into it. And the best part is you can get a Quip electric toothbrush for as little as $25. Plus, if you go to getquip.com slash cow, you're gonna get your first $10 refill for free. That gets you a new toothbrush head and toothpaste for free. Again, that's getquip.com slash cow. This is the least you can do for your mouth, guys, okay? You've put it through a lot, admit it. That's getquip.com slash cow. Hey Jordan, so my parents are conservative Christians against everything worldly. But for the past two years, I have been uploading my art to Tumblr. <laughs> And chatting with a lot of my friends from camp and church. Recently, though, my brother turned 18 and has found out about my Tumblr account and has threatened to tell out. Tell our parents! Unless. <laughs> unless I do a lot of mundane and stupid and humiliating. <laughs> for him. I don't want to do any of these things. I don't have to be his slave, yet I know my parents will flip out if they find I have a Tumblr account, and I don't want to give Tumblr up. What should I do? Her freedom or her, her Tumblr. freedom or her Tumblr. Wow. I want to know. I want to see this account, you know? Because, like, what is she doing? Like, posting her art to Tumblr? Like, is it, is it bad stuff? Maybe it's like, uh... It's Anime? Like, like witches Weird. Or Witches something. and warlocks. <laughs> She's been reading too much Harry Potter. <laughs> Look, I know you're kind. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> she probably thinks she's way more edgy. Look, alright. I, I know, Trust me on this, alright? I have known somebody who literally is exactly like you. <laughs> like, Josh knows who I'm talking about. Exactly you. <laughs> All right, I don't know how it turned out for this person. We've lost touch with them, but look, all right. I don't know, this is confusing. You probably just need to stop with this Tumblr thing because you're gonna look back when you're older and you're gonna think, wow, this is pretty bad. This, the art and the, the witches and warlocks that I'm posting on Tumblr. Nobody looks back at their social media when they get older and, and, and are proud. Except for me. I have never looked back on my Zenga account and thought, wow, I just, you know, somehow I read it, I read stuff and I think, I can see how I'm still like that. <laughs> I feel like I have never really changed. I've just kind of calmed down a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, I would say, like, look, all right, you're not gonna do this, so this doesn't even matter what I say. Just delete the Tumblr account, right? Okay. Then he has no power. Delete the Tumblr. Go to your parents and say, Mom, Dad, I made a bad decision, but I, I corrected it. But also, your son right. tried to blackmail me for six months. Wow. 
this could really get and go in your brother's face. Like <laughs> the situation completely reversed. You blindside him. He'll learn a lesson too on messages. Record a couple of combos of him like saying like, well, if you don't do this thing for me, then I'm going to reveal the This topic. is a great idea. If you have an iPhone, record something that he's saying without him knowing. That's probably illegal. I don't know if it is. There's different states, different laws. I've looked up. I've looked into it. Um, <laughs> and just do what Josh said, basically. So thanks, Josh. You helped out. Dear Jordan, I do community theater, and last summer I played my first romantic role in a play. The young man who played my lover in the play, and I quickly became friends. Unfortunately, I delved so deep into my role that it became very real in my mind, and I ended up falling for him. In real life, he doesn't know this, though. At first, it didn't seem like a problem, so I didn't try to to rid myself of my affectionate feelings for him until right before our last performance when I found out that he had a girlfriend and I was devastated. I kept telling myself how stupid it was for me to feel this way when we were never even together in the first place. I had become so attached to him from all the time we spent together in this play and acting like a couple in love according to the roles we played. Like he would have to put his arms around me, call me darling, and even kiss me on the cheek. And I've never been in a relationship before, so I guess doing things like this for the first time had an effect on me. Look, she's honest with herself, okay? When the play was over and we no longer saw each other as often, I missed him so much and had the hardest time adjusting. It's taken me months to accept the fact that he is with this other girl, not me. Anytime I saw them or pictures of them together, I would just cry. I know it's really stupid to feel this way because we were just playing a role together, but I can't help it. How do I get over my feelings for him and stop feeling so unhappy about this relationship he has. Help. I think if I had to, if I had to tell you, Josh, okay, longest messages ever, but you know what? It's okay because I'll tell you why. This girl is probably, I'm not even kidding you. This is monumental on messages. Are you ready for this? This girl is the most self-aware message that person that I have ever encountered on wow. this. Did you see? She says, I, we've had people on the show say, oh, I know this is stupid, but they don't really know this is stupid. <laughs> this girl really knows that this is stupid. <laughs> like she's saying, it, it, because this is my first time for all this stuff, it probably had an effect on me. She got close to the she, feelings in a play. And she knows it. And she knows it. Look, she's wondering what to do. I'm going to give you the most real answer that I can. Okay, look, this play messed with you. The parents who in, who made this whole thing, they let this happen, okay? <laughs> if we're gonna be mad at anybody, let it be them, all right? This guy, he's just, he's here, he's there, he's got a girlfriend, he probably won't the next day. Just be available, that's all I'm saying. If you really like this guy, stay away from other guys for a little while, okay? You know, don't be weird, don't be obsessive, but just, you know, maybe talk to him a little bit and enter into some conversations. I'm not saying try and get him to break up with this girlfriend, but look, you can't hide your feelings, all right? If you like this guy, then, you know, I, I don't say there's any wrong in, you know, at this age, I don't think it's wrong if you like try to get them to break up <laughs> in the nicest way possible. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so I guess that's my answer. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something, okay? This television program, <laughs> this YouTube series, this monumental occasion, every time there's a message that pops up in your notification feed, you know you drop everything to come to this show. I haven't even edited this yet. I guarantee you this one is gonna be 14 minutes long. <coughs> and you watch the whole thing. This show has been around for like over 10 years and it's still kicking. It's getting longer and longer. Next week, well, who knows if it's gonna be next week. <laughs> we'll wait and see. <laughs> They're gonna be devastated, there's not one. <laughs> Don't be messy. <laughs> And leave good messages. <laughs>